moving on to sensuality. Now, sensuality is again another one of these um, modernist, really strange uh, poems, which has this very strong fascination with life and death. It pretty much carries on this very frantic sort of pace. It has this repetition of enjambment structure, first of all, and virtually every line is enjammed onto the next. It blends a number of devices to, together. It's trying to give you a, a sensory overload. By putting all these senses together and really cramming them together, I mean, you read this poem quickly. It sort of overwhelms you with these senses and overwhelms you with the sense of life and overwhelms you with the sense of death and it sort of blends them together. In terms of a poem which normally, if you'll describe death as a sense, then you'll do this and you'll separate it and if you'll do life, you'll do it separately. In Celeste's case, what he's done is he sort of put these images together, not only organically, but so quickly, the pace of it's so quick that they sort of blend together as one. So we get the sensory overload, first of all, but then we also get this idea that life and death are the same. By thinking of beginnings and ends, he's sort of thinking of life as being a circular thing which ends in the same place it begins. And certainly a lot of the romantic poets before him had a similar idea and it's why on some occasions he is called a bit of a romanticist. Feeling food, feeling fire are sort of repeated as well as are sort of ideas that such as plague and blood in the mouth represent death. So when we get this sort of repetition of feeling food, feeling fire, we get them in terms of the survival instinct as in we need to feel food, we need to feel fire and in other words there are survival instincts. The plague, the blood, the things which cause death and by merging the two of them together we see survival as a case of not only the things that give us life, but also the things that we need to sort of avoid when we're trying to avoid death, so to speak. Those two things being, I guess, an idea of survival, which we need our senses to be able to tell us, sort of really merges everything together quite neatly. So we get this very short, sharp, and direct and very quick poem, which sort of merges a whole heap of things together. That's what sensuality is. It's one that's quite strong in that way. And you can somewhat think of it like the brain and how it works and how it has all these different signals coming at once and then it tells us to do all these different things.